This is the best language hack ever, and no, of course, I don't mean hack like this. But actually, it's kind of close to that. It's kind of like cheating, a little bit. Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Ikena, et je suis le mec de l'an, alors. Today, short video, but very useful, so watch it all. You're gonna thank me that you did, okay? So this is something I recently discovered, and by recent, I mean within the last month, and it's been changing the way that I've been learning languages. So I mentioned an app called Enki, my last video that I did about uh, my five favorite language apps. Now, I'm gonna talk about it again, and there's a very special reason why, uh, but just in case you don't know what Enki is, Enki is a spaced repetition system, uh, or flashcard system, where the gist of it is this. Okay, let's say I wanna learn a word, I put it in this flashcard, Card. So the flashcard asks me, hey, do you know this word? Do you kind of know this word? Or hell no, you don't know this word. And uh, most of the time it's the last option I press. But <clears throat> but let's say you do know this word, you press I know it. Now the cool thing about Enki is that literally this flashcard system is very, very intelligent. It's going to recognize, okay, when is this person most likely to forget this word? And it's going to remind you just a little bit in front of that date. So. Ding, 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 you don't forget the word. And uh, it actually goes into your long-term memory. Now, you can do this with as many words as you want. And it actually works. It's been proven to be one of the most effective things for actually being able to recall information, space repetition systems. Anki is a must. So next up, what I want to talk about is this kind of thing called frequency lists, uh, which someone basically paired this up with Anki. And if you don't know what frequency lists are, I'll just give you an example. 5,000 most used words in Spanish. 500 most used words in French, etc., etc., etc. It's just the most used words in a certain language. So there's a dude out there that essentially made sentences with uh, the 5,000 most used words out of different, various different languages. He has so many of these things. And sentences are such a cool way to uh, learn languages because when you study through studying sentences not only do you pick up the vocab but you also pick up you you instinctually learn how whatever the the topic word of that sentence is you learn how that word is used in context with other words which is very important because sometimes words can change depending on the context not only that you're memorizing the vocab, you are also memorizing that sentence, meaning it's gonna come out much faster than if you had to translate it word from word. If you, if a flashcard pops up and it says, je veux manger, or I want to eat, it's much easier to think about that later and be like, oh, I'm hungry, uh, je veux manger, versus uh, je means I, uh, vous, vous, how do I conjugate that? That's uh, nah. Uh, I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones. So sentences are amazing. Now this is why I'm saying that the dude that created this frequency list thing for Enki and they put it together like this is a legend is because, let me tell you what this guy did. Let me, let me tell you what this guy did. Literally this dude took all the, <laughs> took all the uh, most used words, for, I mean, I think he probably did like 12 different lists for 12 different languages, but he took all the most used words for, let's say, Spanish, and he put them into sentences. Now, these sentences are very cool because they're constructed entirely out of the 5,000 most used words, so it doesn't go past that. It doesn't throw you a random word like, this is like 10,000 most used word in this language and you're never gonna use it and you're gonna forget it. No, it stays within this constraint, which is so cool. On top of that, he added audio into every single flashcard. So to elaborate on that whole sentences constructed only out of the most used words kind of thing, let's uh, give you a sample sentence. Let's uh, use, I went shopping for milk. The word I could be the second most used language in that, or most used word in that language, but let's probably be honest, the word I is probably number one, just how it is. But the word uh, went could be uh, I don't know, the 50th most used word in that language. The word shopping could be 120th. The word for could be uh, 12th most used. And the word milk, milk is a bit, f a bit, a bit further out, so maybe it's the 358th most used word. Okay, the benefit of this, it's staying within itself. It's not going out there to random words, which happens a lot in various different language learning apps. You're, you're, you're trying to learn the basics and all of a sudden they're telling you about polar bears. I don't need, I don't need that information. So then, this legend, 
he, he didn't stop there. You know what this guy did? So he organized the sentences from the easiest to the hard sentences. And the way that he's able to determine the difficulty is, well, how many advanced or infrequent words are in this given sentence? So let's look at this practical example and I'll show you Anki in action too. So in the beginning, I'm getting super easy sentences that really only consist of the hundred most used words. However, as I progress, I eventually encounter harder sentences that consist of less frequently used words. Now the cool thing about this is that since it starts with easy sentences and vocab and it's a spaced repetition system like we talked about earlier, over time as you start to adventure deeper and deeper into the land of the less frequently used words, you will be solidifying and strengthening the core core vocabulary which is so essential for speaking a language. You gotta admit, it's a pretty cool method. It really helps you avoid you learning those useless ass words that no one needs. In the beginning, I need to focus on, and what you need to focus on is the basics. It's uh, the core core vocabulary, because that's going to be the most important when you want to have conversations, when you actually want to talk to people. Knowing the word penguin is useful, but if you walk into a restaurant and you're forgetting your basics, you don't know how to order food, but the word penguin pops up, you, you're kind of screwed, unless you have a very weird appetite, but... You, you, well, all that said, I will leave a link to the website that I found all of these marvelous uh, frequency lists on. So he has these decks available for these languages. So if you're studying any of them, you're in luck. And if not, then I would recommend Googling frequency list, Anki plus whatever language that you're studying. Hopefully you'll be able to find a suitable replacement or alternative. Two more quick things. You could very well use the Anki frequency list decks like right away, but I would really recommend you to hold off. The reason is, is that they don't really explain any uh, grammar rules or anything about any cultural information. Um, so if you hop right into them, you're gonna be a bit lost. And it's also very important to train your listening and pronunciation from day one using native speakers or audio from native speakers, not robots trying to be native speakers. You need the real thing. But if you got a lot of value out of this video, then you should definitely check out my ebook, Fluency Made Easy. I have a lot of uh, tips like the ones in this video and a whole lot more. And also in the book, I go over my personal method for uh, learning languages easily and fast. And I also talk about, well, it's essentially the method that I use to learn my six languages. So highly recommend it. And lastly, I do go over uh, the different stages of learning languages. Like for example, the input stage, the output stage, refinement stage. Just an example, frequency lists are probably towards the end of the input stage so meaning you should have already used a program like Pimsleur or Asimo before you hop into it but anyways people are loving the ebook uh, the feedback has been amazing from you guys seriously I really appreciate it and if you are interested definitely worth checking it out uh, if you're serious about learning a new language so guys that's the video. I really hope I dropped some value bombs and you can actually make something out of this thing, this Anki thing, because uh, from now on it's gonna be my little, my little cheat code, my little, well you know.